right, so I came up to this one. I thought something was tripped, nothing's tripped. Took off this panel to see this, right? Because I noticed this was stuck in, so it's welded shut there. We got power disconnected. So our breaker is probably tripped. Now, of course, here I'm gonna be checking like the continuity. So uh, going back and forth on like, do we have a, a ground or something? I was getting a little bit of continuity here. So once I pulled this off, I'm like, man, this has to be like to a motor or compressor. I don't remember. I changed these out and not changed these out. So I think this is to a compressor. All right, so I don't like how I have to remove the Dakin ones, but okay. So it's another repair we've done. So the contactors, contactors have given out, pressure control has shorted out. Now I'm like concerned that we have a bad motor or compressor. And is that one unplugged? I don't think anybody's been here. Not unless that thing blew, but I don't, I don't see that it blew the charge. Let's try and fit in here. There it is. Oh. Okay. So not, I don't think we lost a charge, but that is toasted. If you can hear it. So that compressor is gone. It's like two year old system at the most, going on two years. So let me get all the info and uh, find out the warranty on this. Let's just inspect the other one, but yeah, clean, good. That's real nice, that's not gonna bend out that easy, so. There's screws back there for the dryer I gotta get to. This one has access, of course, but mine doesn't. You're going to basically get your compressor loose without anything as far as the line set yet. So let's get the bolts out. Just, uh, I don't know, I saw a comment, <clears throat> somebody trying to do it in place, and everybody was reminding him, or giving him, maybe giving him crap, I don't know, that uh, he should unbolt it. So yes, always unbolt it first. That way you have a way to move it away. So like I said, we're gonna cut some of this. Well, actually we're gonna cut, I think, all of it. And then, I'm still gonna have to cut it pretty close because I do have to pinch off for warranty purposes so let's cut it as close as we can all right so yeah I did completely flatten out now I can move the Screws for that.
and this is <laughs> such an awkward spot right like I'm having to squeeze my shoulders in or go sideways just to even get to the back there and get this stupid dryer out try not to damage the uh, coil while I'm at it because it's a very very thin coil So like I said, we're going to make sure, because it, it was a little bit stuck on the bottom with the feet, so I'm going to just push it back a little bit, <clears throat> and that's going <coughs> to give it like some tension while I unsweat this and pull it out, or push it that way. And then don't let it don't let it touch right away. So that's why you just keep it back a few seconds so that it cools. If not, it'll just reattach. So now that we got our compressor out, I forgot our handle. Let me go get the handle real quick. All right, so let's try and get this out of here. We have connectors on our pressure control. So <clears throat> let's just disconnect this real quick. And then we're gonna slide it over because I can't get it through the top. I don't have these pinched yet. Maybe I just should. I don't want any oil to spill out. This one I'll have to add a stub, or that's my preference. So again, don't want the oil to come out. So we're gonna tilt it with the stubs, you know, going up instead of back. We've had. And I'm sure everybody does it when they start, you know, oil comes out, you get it on yourself. If I can scoot it over without damaging anything, I think I can use my handle. There we go. 
All right, so I taped it up for now just so that I can go exchange our compressor and then make sure I put this low voltage back so that we don't trip out or blow a fuse. And I'm gonna turn it back on. Like I said, take all my stuff down, get them to exchanges. I still need to cap this one off, braze that uh, for warranty. This is the pin that blew out. I think it's the top one. So change that out. Oh man, before when I got here and everything, or on my way too, but it was not even 12 yet. It was like 11. Or, yeah, right around 11. And it was already 107 out here, so it's freaking hot. We're going to put everything back together and run it. That way they have cooling. I don't have to worry about that. And then I'm not in a rush. I'm going to go take that, braise it, take it, and deal with that. Like I said, I'll explain why. But uh, in the meantime, they have cooling, and I can just honestly, if I want to, do it in the afternoon when it's the hottest, or I can come back first thing in the morning and just hop on the roof. I don't need them to be open. I can come in here before they even uh, before they even know it. Here's our here's our access. Got a platform. It's still kind of sketch though. I'm out of breath because I wanted to take that in one trip. And basically, my unit is in that corner. So you see that wall, that wall, where they meet at the very end. <laughs> that is the distance I have to walk. So next time, the new one, I just bought a hand truck that I'm going to use instead. So we're going to rope it down, rope our tools down, take a break, take a lunch. Like I said, go deal with that. And it's probably not going to be today. It got really hot. Man, I'm getting old. I had to take a little break after getting the compressor up on the roof. So I think I showed the axis that we have, right? So I had to essentially to pull anything up because dropping things is always easier than, um, you know, roping them back up. So I had to put the ladder next to their ladder. They're like, you know, the, the building one. And then cross over and get up and start roping everything up. The compressor is obviously the heaviest thing. I'm by myself today, which I uh, don't condone that. If you guys, uh, the, the rope I have helps. A lot of people have asked me about the rope. Um, I do have a video on that. It's just a, like a little cross braiding deal. Essentially, you, you shorten it by quite a bit overall. But like it's the strength of, uh, you know, two to three strands and you're roping it up at uh it's easier to pull there's more to grip even when i let it things drop i can kind of let it slide through my hands a little bit and it won't like rope burn me as easily uh, a lot of benefits and it's done pretty well for roping up compressors i just roped it up you know by myself um plant your feet use your knees your legs to lift i'm pretty good about not letting it you know, taking a, a break midway or something and then just kind of making sure I, I reassert myself and grip, you know, make sure I have a, a good grip and pull it up. Um, like I said, I'd, I'd rather you have somebody help you with stuff like this, but uh, I just wanted to come in early. Today's the worst day to do it. Yesterday, I didn't come as, you know, I didn't come by as expected. Um, yesterday was super windy, cloudy. It would have been perfect to do it. But uh, I came in, I, I couldn't come in. I came in the day before, I could not come in yesterday, so I skipped the day. I uh, did some other things and my kid had a scrimmage in the morning, so like, you know, uh, just decided to reschedule it for today. Sunny, as soon as I woke up, I'm, I'm here at eight o'clock. It's already 90 degrees at eight in the morning. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's like, it's super sunny, not a cloud in sight, no wind. Hopefully that picks up because we were having like hurricane, uh, like hurricane season is starting. So we don't normally get hit, but we get all the wind and everything. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hot today. So I just want to take a little uh, five minute break. I'm going to go back up. I'm going to rope everything else up in a Vito tote bag, which... I don't know if I can show everything yet, but I do have 
the mini torches, the ambro control torches. I already took up my tool bag. I just took up my small uh, MB bag just because I need a couple of hand tools and my drill. And then uh, I do have a nitrogen kit that, like I said, I don't think I can show it yet, but I do have a couple of uh, different ideas for a nitrogen uh, kit. If you guys are roping things up on the roof, I hate, that is the one thing that I hate is the nitrogen tank, how heavy it is. And I don't, personally, I don't need a lot of it, especially on jobs like this. You're just gonna purge really quick and then kind of uh, pressure test it uh, on this one, I know we don't have a leak. So like on newer units, I'm not too concerned with going crazy with, with the pressure, right? I need it like 200 PSI just to make sure that what I did holds. And sometimes I won't even do that. I'll do 150. I don't know. I just, on this one, it's the dryer joints and the two on the compressor. We should not have any other leaks. Um, and I, I'm pretty confident in my brazing and I make sure to go over it. Uh, twice and uh, one of our guys wanted long sleeves we're gonna try the long sleeves today although it's very like I said very hot not windy if it was windy this would feel great um, I did try out the or I did want to try out the hood I think this is pretty dope for installs days like this where I'm gonna be up there for a few hours and I can cover my neck because I don't I don't like taking it's a lifesaver right these uh, I don't know fisherman hats these sun hats boonie hat, whatever you want to call it, bonnie hat. Um, those are a lifesaver. I just don't like wearing them all the time, right? And then I go inside a lot because uh, I do commercial restaurants. I'm going in and out a lot. I hate that hat, like being being with it all day. So if I can wear my, my normal cap, which we also got new hats in, uh, I can wear it, you know, like over it. Uh, if I really... If I really am sweating like crazy, maybe put it and use it as a towel and then put your hat over it and it'll catch all the sweat, which, I mean, it depends on how you want to wear it. So we're going to try that today, but I honestly don't like wearing long sleeves, uh, cotton for sure, because I, like right now, I feel claustroph claustrophobic with this, but I wear arm sleeves a lot. So if you guys are uh, interested in arm sleeves, like something you can remove after your job, I do have my uh, reliable um, arm sleeves. Super breathable. They're skin tight. This is not skin tight. Uh, skin tight so you don't realize that you have it on all day. It's comfortable. But if you're drenched, you can uh, remove them, cool off a little bit better, and uh, not be uncomfortable the rest of the day. So... I'm gonna get back up there. I don't have my camera, I forgot it. So I'm gonna show you as much as I can, but we're just brazing in the new compressor. I'm gonna take a uh, dolly um, up there and all my stuff is in that veto bag. Rope it up one time, roll the compressor over there cause it's freaking heavy and uh, get on with it. All right, so we're back here. Obviously I'll we'll get the trash with that bag. The, uh, we're gonna turn this off got some tunes that'll be going on I don't know I'll probably link this in the description it was sent out to me it's kind of cool battery lasts forever uh, get started on this unit get the new compressor in in no time all right so we got the new one in there just kind of hand tight the bolts to keep it in place and then we're gonna bend everything to where it's a little bit past right and this one I do like to unsweat certain connections like that has a reducer on it right so we'll be able to put that with the original tension it'll slide back in right I can even bend a little bit more and then kind of put it lay it there once we heat it up and the solder gets you know flowing it'll push itself in or I can give it a little tap this side we cut it so we're, we're missing a gap, but you sometimes you can. Uh, this one has it right up against the wall. I can't bend it too much. It does reach, right, like that. So we'll just have to hold it <clears throat> with some pliers in place while we get, probably drop a bead of solder on top and uh, just to get it on there. And then that way I can use one hand to hold it in place and then with the other hand, the torch, 
move it around, make sure we get it all around and get it to hold itself. Because this one, since we cut it, we're short. That one I unswed that one, so we are able to put that one back in. And that's about it. I already did the dryer uh, the other day, so I wouldn't have trouble. And uh, once I get these two in here, then I'm going to exchange my brazing kit. We'll pressure test it and I'll exchange my brazing kit for the uh, vacuum and refrigerant. Man, I've been wanting this thing for a while. Milwaukee, uh, Dolly, whatever you call it. Uh, this one is a four wheel, so it can convert into like a little flatbed. Got it from Lowe's. Perfect today because I don't want to tire myself out carrying this thing over here. It's the farthest unit. I had to restart it because I forgot to put a valve to close it off. So it was under a thousand, which we'll let it drop again real quick. All right, so hopefully uh, the camera's good. So <clears throat> while we wait, it's already under a thousand. I'm gonna wait to see how low we can get it. It's a brand new system, it should be fine. Tie in the dryer with the bracket. Double check my voltage. Uh, I had good voltage last time, but I just wanna double check plug it in and then uh, it's about six and a half pounds. We're gonna put it in, I, I should have enough. It's not a big, uh, it's not that big of a circuit. But the only reason I was saying that, or I was gonna explain the whole thing about get going and dealing with my supply house is that I, they actually told me no. I was like, what do you mean no? Um, and not flat out like, you know, no as I got there. But uh, I went and I was like, can you verify the warranty on this? Knowing that it was a 22, right? It's a 2022, it's a five-year warranty on, on, on things like this. You know, nothing's wrong with the system. Uh, as far as like neg negligence, we rinse out the coils every six months. We installed it, everything's fine. The other compressor's doing fine. All these other units are doing fine. There's like 12 units on this rooftop. Uh, I didn't have an issue with the voltage, so, you know, I don't know what happened to it. 
it blew a pin, all that. I went over there and I'm like, okay, like, uh, you know, can you verify this and that? It's all good, whatever. But it's just when I need parts or I need to do a warranty or whatever it is. Like right now I'm having hard, a hard time finding coils. So it's not just my supply house. It's a lot of other ones too, where I go and it's like, they're not very, um, informative or helpful or anything like that. So I don't want to go on too much of a tangent. I might I I have an episode planned for this where we can talk about it and not to talk down on it or anything. It's just, I want to kind of, you know, vent a little bit and see everybody else's experience with it. But initially he was like, Oh, it's popping up like a homeowner and this and that. And he's like, I need the homeowner's information. And I'm like, it's a commercial unit. It's an RTU. We bought it. It should be under our name. Like you can run it through us, whatever. He just like, you know, I don't know if you ever get that, that guy that just like stares at you and you're like, like, <laughs> what do we do now? Like, so then I was like, Hey, is so-and-so in the back? Is anybody else here? Cause I didn't know what to do. And thankfully, uh, at my supply house, we still have Rick, Steve, Mike, and Manny. Most helpful guys that used to be counter guys are now working in the back in the office so if they give me a hard time i'm just like Where, where's mike at where's manny at you know let me see rick and um i went back there and they're like no nah, they dude we have to warranty it. it it's you bought it here it's you're you're good so finally figured it out so that was a whole hassle that's why that day i knew i wasn't going to come back and do it it was too hot and I was like, I'm, I'm probably gonna get a little bit of a hassle over there. And it turned out to, to be a big thing. I was there for a while, you know, finally got it uh, going and everything. And um, as far as like the coils that I can't find, that was a different supply house. And I already got in touch with somebody above them. And they said there should be a lead time, not a, not a no, but I've been getting a lot of no's lately, you know? So just a little frustrated with that. Um, we're about to pull 500. So let's uh, do a decay in a minute and try and get out of here. Oh, and just to show, we have the Y there because I wanted, I really wanted to connect my two uh, three-eighths fittings there. I don't know if they have a quarter to three-eighths because these Navacs, I, I love this Navac. I changed out the battery because the other one only had a little bit of juice, but I, I made sure to bring another one anyway. So I can swap it out with, with the Milwaukee batteries. It's not too bad. It usually drains one. I don't really ever go past two batteries. And then... Uh, it just sucks that they don't put a half inch or an extra three eighths. It's just one three eighths and one quarter. So I'm trying out that Appion that I, I think I won that one a long time ago and I just never used it, but it's a quarter inch. I might get a, I could also just get one of those that, that they make that is all three eighths around. That way you can just hook it up on the top and put two of your three eighths, which I have a field piece and an Appion one there. You can see we're at 500. Once we get under, I'll probably do the decay like around 400. Um, and these are Cormax fittings, so we got to use adapters to depress because our vacuum hoses don't have any depressors, obviously. And uh, almost done. It's 10 o'clock. Been here a couple hours. Let's try and get this uh, done right. And they're about to open, so I want to get this done already. All right, so kind of in a rush now. I want to get out of here. Wind picked up a little bit that's helping, but my setup is like super janky today my van is a mess we've had a couple of change outs so i didn't do this the way i wanted to or you know even have the right connections for it um i moved something when i had it at 400 got 600 microns like f it i did my decay there went up less than 100 microns i called it so it's always a thousand is the worst 700 used to be like what i was told but 500 and under was always the uh the goal but sometimes uh it doesn't happen that way so i know i don't have a leak on my stuff i don't see any other leaks vacuumed well pressure test was okay i didn't get to do as high as a pressure test as i wanted to just letting you all know keeping it real this uh we're weighing it in now right got our six and a half pounds in i'm gonna start removing things and letting it run see what happens we weighed it in it's all in there. I can close this up or at least put the panel up to uh, run it. I already double checked my wiring. Voltage is fine. There's no shorts or anything. Hopefully nothing blows up. So let me start getting everything out. All right. So it turned on. The second compressor just came on. So both 
are running the one that we worked on was actually circuit one so i know it's been running so i'm going to give it like a minute double check everything make sure uh cooling pressures any anything abnormal it, like there's nothing wrong with it and uh, i'm going to start hauling all my stuff so we can get out of here simple as that screw it uh that doesn't work i can always convert it i just don't feel like it so yeah it's cooling uh, we're good i'm just gonna i got everything in the bag so i don't have to come back anymore it's cooling both units are, are both compressors are working they look fine like i said we got good cooling on, on both and they both kicked on so i got everything bagged up this is the last trip i'm just trying to it's it's an easy call it's an easy thing especially this warranty stuff it's just you're you're fighting the heat right all right guys so my phone quit i have no idea where it cut off but our biggest issue in this uh as far as like the labor intensive stuff obviously lifting but it's the heat so whether you're in an attic on a roof where it is what is it it's over 100 already uh it's 100 degrees right now at lunchtime uh, just stay safe. I'm going to go buy a case of water to chug. I forgot to bring my own today. And just remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys.